Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ADXS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame and has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Done this analysis several times before, so that is where the, where the red line up there is coming from. But after today's price movement, gonna go ahead and get some things updated. First thing though, house cleaning, just gonna get rid of that line. Sure, that level pertains. It's not relevant though anymore, and from the presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere. So let's try to keep this uh, as straightforward and clean as possible uh, from the presentation standpoint. So one of the newest areas of support that occurred, or not the newest areas of support, excuse me, one of the newest areas of resistance that has now formed is right here at 35 cents. And this is just comes off the fact that when levels of support, so let's just establish real quick that 35 acted as support, acted as support, acted as support. But when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. And now with the price being down below that level, that would be the newest area of resistance. And you can actually already see that that rule played out. So the price broke down below it. Then in the final 30 minutes of the day, the price actually tried to get back above the 35 cent mark and couldn't quite do it. So don't get me wrong, I'm not saying the price can never get back up above 35. I'm just saying it makes sense why the price did struggle at that area. So 35 cents, that near term area of resistance now, in the event the price can push up through there, next key level after that would be that purple line there, the 50 period, a simple moving average. Keyword being moving, so as time goes by, that line will begin to move its way further and further downwards. However, as of right now, uh, as far as resistance levels are concerned, first key level gonna be at 35. As far as levels of support, nothing new here as far as, you know, even if you have a basic understanding of charts, and I'm sure you've heard of the 200 period moving average, and you know that when a price is up above that moving average, you definitely wanna see the price stay above it, and that's what we have here on my chart. The pink line is denoting the 200 period, and right now that is valued at 31 cents. So that is definitely a, a very, very important level of support going forward. Not saying the price is headed down and gonna hit 31, but in the event it does, that is certainly a level that you really do wanna see the price stay up above, because if the price were to drop below there and then start to sink further and further below that area, that would be a big red flag that the bears have essentially uh, you know, taken back over on the chart. But we'll see what happens with it going into Friday and see if this one can consolidate out uh, and close the week with some strength or not. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.